you may come to an area where it is just profuse with a plant that you love to pick and eat. That's fine, but be really careful how you do it because if you start gathering with both hands and putting them in the, into a bag, you may be gathering up poisonous plants with it. So you've got to make sure that you've identified the plant correctly and that you're only picking the one that you want. It's the time of year, elevation, soil content, moisture in the soil, everything plays a part when it comes to what you're going to find that you can actually eat depending on where you're walking, where you are. Right now at this elevation, I think Paul and I are a little bit early and even these tips seem very young. I want to get something that's a little further along so I think I'm going to get Paul and head down to a lower elevation. Paul! Oh, hey, Paul. Now this is where identification becomes tricky for me. I'm used to what I know in various places around the planet and this some of this area is new to me so wood sorrel in Ontario looks a lot more like clover actually but if I'm recognizing this right I think you are right Les oh that's good if 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 people have not tasted the beauty of sorrel they need to because wow <clears throat> this is so this is one of those flavors that's very difficult to come by in a forest like this, it's sour. Yeah. I love sour. I could suck on lemons all day, and this tastes like lemon to me. I have this growing in the garden at the restaurant, and we use it this time of year. We never cook it. We always use it fresh, as it's chopped up maybe a little bit, because of its citrus tang. Uh, and most people are blown away because they've never had a flavor like that before. Mm -hmm. This doesn't look like wood sorrel in Ontario. Not even close, but it tastes the same. It's the same plant family but out here it looks like this. And this is why you can't just assume that if there's a plant named blank in your neighborhood that you can eat, you go across the, the globe or the other side of the continent or even just to a new region, and there's a plant with the very same name that it's going to be edible. That one could be poisonous. It happens all the time. You have to actually research these things and, and get into the, the scientific names of the plants so that you know you're eating the right one. Oh, this is good. This, I don't think this is going to be enough to bring back to the plate, so... Let's just eat it. Just going to eat it. Okay. This is good. 